So the trans community, we deal with discrimination on so many different levels. And employment is an area that's really challenging for us. A lot of companies just don't want to hire us because we're trans. So I got to tell you about what happened on an interview. Oh, my God. I had just been let go from a company. Well, actually, the company had gone out of business. They went bankrupt. So we all lost our job at the company. And I had like seven years experience with that company. And prior to that, I had 10 years administrative experience with the American Red Cross. So, you know, I had some work experience behind me, under my belt. (laughs) And I could not find a job. I hear about this company, Precision Response Corporation. Uh, They're hiring, but you have to take a test. So I went down, I took the test, and I passed. The lady tells me, okay, I'll call you within the week to set up an in-person interview with a hiring specialist. Two weeks go by, and crickets, no phone call. So one of my girlfriends said, girl, you passed the test. Go on back down there and see what's going on. So I walked into the personnel department. You should have seen that lady's face. She was looking at me like, what the hell are you doing here? And she's like, yes, can I help you? And I said, well, I was here two weeks ago. I took the test and I passed it. And you told me you were going to call me for an in-person interview. So she kind of gives me like this look and says, have a seat. So I sit down. She gets one of the hiring specialists to interview me. So cute Latino guy. You know, he calls me in, he closes the door, and we're sitting there, and he's asking me questions about my work experience. And then all of a sudden, he looks down at my breast, and he's like, are those real? So I looked at him, and I said, well, yeah, they're as real as they're going to get for me. And I'm thinking, I need this job. So let me not get all, you know, offended. Let me just go with the flow. So, you know, more questions about my work experience. And then out of the blue, he looks at me really intently in my eyes and says, you know, I heard that you all give really good blow jobs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I'm thinking I need a job. So I just kind of laugh it off. And I say, well, that's what I've been told. (laughs) And listen, there's no reason for me to lie. I'll take a lie detector on that. He said that. And so then I'm like, well, what about the job? He's like, oh, yeah, you're hired. Come next Monday for, you know, training. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. Even to this day, I think, oh, if I had recorded that conversation, it would have been a juicy lawsuit. Can anyone say sexual harassment? Thank you very much.